Hi guys, James here. Welcome to another episode from JJ Model Making. Well, today I'm uh, making a start on the USS Oliver Hazard Perry. This is the last piece of my Enterprise Carrier Strike Group fleet from the 1 to 350 scale. I started off by building all the smaller uh, sub assemblies, starting with the bridge and then the main um, superstructure of the deck. Added a few extra ladders from the photo etched spares boxes you can see here. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. I'm basically going to try and build the hull up in layers as opposed to building the entire model in one go and then painting it all because I'm going to try and uh, paint the deck first and then attach everything on top of that. As I've seen lots and lots of good reviews and good pictures from various Facebook groups. I'll post a couple of links in the description below so you can have a look. But yeah, it's coming along really well. Um, even tried to have something a little bit different, have an open door here on the bridge. So with the main superstructure bits and sub-assemblies all built, I decided to move on to something which I only recently found out about in the Facebook forums, and that is the Oliver Hazard Perry class has an offset rudder. You can see it from the photo here, so it's just off the centre. So I filled up the hole that comes with the kit and drilled a new one. And you can see here, it looks a bit silly, but there's various reasons for it. I think it's ability and the fact that they can remove the propeller when needed. So here's a bit of a dry fit with all the bits and pieces, and then it's going to time to get cracking with the paint. So the hull of the ship was painted uh, Tamiya XF-19 Sky Grey and the deck was Gunship Grey by Revel. And then when I stuck everything together I realised there's a whopping great hole here you can see so I decided to fill that all up against the edge of the hangar bay. Next to move on to paint the hull itself, the, the anti-fouling red, so I masked off the section here, painted the bottom hull red and then added the jeep line after that, as you can see in the photo here. So after leaving that to dry for a couple of days, I then got cracking with applying some gloss varnish onto the top decks and then applying all the decals, so you've got the helicopter landing pad and the various warning red and white lines for the guns, is the forward missile launcher, the few extra photo etch parts on, and then started to yeah, put everything all together. The bridge is still dry fitted in place, nothing permanent. The barrel for the main gun actually snapped off when I was taking it off the sprue, so I replaced that with a paper clip. And then getting ready to apply all of the paint to the various detail bits, like the smokestack. And then everything's starting to fit together quite nicely now. It's looking like an actual warship. Then I moved on to the decals again with the gloss varnish and we've got the number 7 for the whole registry here. And then again at the back you can see the various warning lines. Here's a bit more of a close up, you can see a bit more of the detail. We need to go on to the weathering next and uh, get the final bits and pieces put together. So next is to move on to detailing the bridge, putting the various masts together and then um, trying to stick everything together before we can do a bit more of the detail painting and apply the photo etch, which I'm going to order and uh, get through next month in part two. So it's coming on really nicely.
So I've managed to finish it. The USS Oliver Hazard Perry is going to make it a fantastic addition to my 1 to 350 scale fleet. I got the kit back in June for Father's Day. Thank you very much to my mother-in-law for that. And um, since then I've been uh, cracking on with the bill. Basically I've tried a, a few new things which I'm not uh, not normally do on the model and um, also bought the Eddard Photo Etch set to go with the kit and um, it's brilliant. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with it as they say. Um, so basically I, what I did is started off by building the main body of the ship, kept the superstructure separate and then sort of got it all sprayed and uh, put together. There's a bit of a, a gap here which I filled in which you see in the previous video and then painted the decks grey, gunship grey by Revel and also the top here, the top of the superstructure, kept the bridge separate and then built the two masts separate um, as well and all the small little bits and pieces I managed to uh, not A not to lose and B uh, paint them all up and detail them um, in one fell swoop which is good and then um, started sticking the whole thing together so let's try and get a bit closer so you can see what's what so as I was saying, I did this a little bit different to previous kits. So basically all of the uh, the dark grey of the deck and um, superstructure were painted first. Then I put on all the decals um, after a, a gloss coat obviously. And um, got those all stuck down, which is good. Really pleased with the way that came out, especially the, um, the main gun here. Um, unfortunately the barrel itself snapped off when I was taking it off the sprue, which is pretty common I hear and um, so I made a new one out of an old paper clip and likewise the CIWS cannon here the decals were put on for that first and also for the landing pad as well which is good and then um, kept the bridge separate that sat nav dome radar dome the two masts are all kept on separate and then finally came together at the end. So basically I then started putting on the photo etch. I had to wait a, a few weeks for it to come in the post. Um, lost one of the bits to the carpet monster, but then uh, found it, thank goodness. And then slowly started building it up in layers. So I was really pleased with the way it all turned out. Um, a few little details, not sure if it's uh, coming across okay. I've got an open hatch here on the bridge and uh, light blue tinted windows. And then lastly, put on the rigging so I used a very fine fishing line for this I did get some very fine nylon uh, thread basically but it was too too thin it just was un literally impossible to tie anytime I breathed it uh, blew it out out of position so I decided to scratch that and um, yeah so the last thing I did basically was use some new AK interactive products which um, I used to do the rust streaking here So let me go and grab that and um, we'll be right back. So this is what I used uh, for the weathering the rust. It's Naval Ship Weathering Colours by AK Interactive. It's AK305 Streaking Grime for Light Grey Ships, which is quite handy. So all you really do is you put a few drops on with a brush where you'd like all the rust to go. All the way around the ship in one fell swoop. Leave it to dry for a, a few minutes, come back to it with um, another brush with thinners or white spirit in this case this Dowler Rowney low odour thinners because it's otherwise it stinks to high heaven and then basically sort of thin it out spread it down and make it streak so if you'd like me to do a separate video on um, how I actually do the weathering on the ships like this um, let me know in the comments below and um, if there's enough interest I'll uh, do a video on that but it was really really fantastic I was so pleased with the way it turned out I actually did um, a bit of streaking grime on a couple of other ships. So here's one of the two, this is the uh, Coronado. So I did the uh, the grime effect here. Um, you can see very, very faintly, this is one of the test subjects I did before the, the Oliver Hazard Perry. And um, yeah, it came out really well. Um, it's probably a little bit more rusty considering it's a new ship than it should be, but um, it's my model and um, I quite like the way it turned out. And the next one to get the treatment was the uh, Ticonderoga, which is a much older ship, so we went a little bit uh, heavier this time on the old weathering. But um, again, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's fantastic stuff, this AK 
interactive um, streaking grime. I highly, highly recommend it. So back to the Oliver Hazard Perry. Here's the starboard side of the ship. Again, you can see the rusting and the weathering of the ship here. So it's all been sealed in now with a dull coat. Um, put that on last night and um, yeah, everything's coming along really, really nicely and I'm really, really pleased with it. So the Oliver, as I'm calling her, um, it's going to make a fantastic uh, addition to my Enterprise Carrier Strike Group, which is going to be an older series of ships based around the USS Enterprise. And um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. So um, that's a wrap, as they say, so onwards and upwards. Um, so next is to make a big old dent in the USS Nimitz 2027 video build, which I'm cracking on with. And um, yeah, I've done a bit of cutting and sawing and drilling out of various ports on the, the Nimitz over the last few days and over the weekend. So um, try and get a video out on that next time. And um, yeah, it's coming along really well. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the button below and make sure you press that bell notification. I'm going to upload on regularly on Tuesdays now. Um, also on Facebook page as well, so I'll link uh, in that in the description below. But um, yeah, if you've ever built the Oliver Hazard Perry, let me know in the comments below. I'd really, really like to hear if you have and what you thought of the ship. So thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and happy modeling. Bye-bye.